Hey guys, you're watching DShack Tech, and today I'll be doing theme review episode 4 where I'll be putting 4 different themes from Cydia to the test. So let's get started. So first thing for today is called Anadia for 99 cents in the City app in the City App Store. Um, first thing you notice is that there's a change to the lock screen with the new slide to unlock bar. It's very dark, very small, very minimalistic slide to unlock bar. Um, so on the home page, um, first thing you notice is that there's a huge information panel on the top of the screen which shows you your weather, your um, calendar, and as well as your SMS or your voicemail if you have an iPhone. Right now I'm on my iPod Touch so you don't get to see that right there. Um, to make this information work, you need to have um, an application that allows you to have blank icons, whether it be iBlank for free, Iconoclasm, or another springboard changer from Cydia to make this work. That's one downside to this application. To make this work, you need one of those applications. Um, along with that, you also get smaller icons that do change, so um, there are, every single one icon does change, whether it's not supported visually by the theme, they all change. Exceptions are that music and the video icons do not change for some reason, I don't know why. Probably because in the iPhone version, they don't have a iPod, or they don't have a mu music and video icon, so they just have one iPod app. That's probably why it doesn't change for the iPod Touch. Safari is another, app, another exception to this smaller icon range probably i don't know why it looks very outlandish doesn't really fit in that well it's just really awkwardly put sort of icon there um there is full application integration with this theme for example you have the app store changes with the different colors as well as the music application with the different um music player as well and so that is anadia um hd from Cydia, which costs about 99 cents so next up we have catalyst hd which costs about two bucks from Cydia. and the first thing you notice that is that there is no lock screen change. This is one downside to this theme, and for all you people who want a lock screen change, you will not get this with Catalyst HD. But what you don't get with the change of the lock screen, you get with the very elegantly displayed information of weather and um, temperature on the bottom of your home page. This is just like your the Nadia um, theme I did beforehand, but it's on the bottom and very Apple-esque, I guess you could call it. Um, displayed information. To make this work, again, you need um, outside city application like iBlank or Iconoclasm or, th or a Springboard um, application changer to make this work. That is one downside. You need another application to make it work. I know it's sort of hard to do that, but um, it's probably worth it because it works very seamlessly with the theme if you can do this right. The icons that do change with this theme are generally white with a very minimalist um, um, visual on the icon. Um, the, the icons that do change in this theme are main, are just the main utilities. I have not I have yet to seen a, an application or a game application to change with this theme. So that's one downside. All you get is the main utilities to change. Um, again, one downside to this theme is that the music application does not change. It sort of bugs me that this happens that you would think they'll be able to make a music application icon for this theme, but probably again it's probably for the iPhone and they don't have the music or the video icons for the iPod app on the iPhone. Um, but other than that, this app, this theme looks very great on your iPod Touch. It's very elegant, very classy with the, with the information on the bottom of the homepage. And that is Catalyst HD, which costs about two bucks from Cydia. So for our next theme, we have Limbo HD, which is a free theme from Cydia. First thing you know is that there is no lock screen change, which is one downside to this theme. But the main part of this theme is the changed icons. These icons being a lot smaller than usual, and they are turned at like a 45 degree angle and hung like a picture frame with an actual string. Um, this this theme portrays a very artistic feel for this theme and allows you to see your background image much more apparent because of the smaller icons. Um, this theme overall is very artistic and I like the look and feel of this theme. Um, with this theme you also get um, app application integration such as your music player um, as well as other applications like your utilities. Um, for this theme being a free um, theme, you won't get a lot of the advantages like you do with the paid ones such as the displayed information or lock screen changes. But what you get with this free theme is that you get this very artistic free theme and above all else it's free so you can't really go wrong with it. You download it and it's free. And so that is Limbo HD and it's just a free theme from Cydia. So for our last thing for today, we have Avid HD, which costs about 90 cents from Cydia, and basically allows you to have a lock screen change with the new slide tone lock bar that is very minimalist and a grayscale slide tone lock bar. Um, on the homepage, you get a new status bar that is grayer than usual and a new Wi-Fi signal strength icon as well. Um, the icons that do change with this theme um, change have very seamless integration with the usual icons. You can't really tell the difference between the normal ones and the changed ones unless you really know your icon 
images, I guess. Um, the icons that do change are very seamless. They look really cool. They look really different. There's light changes. So if you want a really elegant theme that doesn't change a whole lot to your iPod, this is the perfect one for you. There's not a lot of game application changes, mostly just the main utility ones that the ones you first get with your first iPod Touch without adding anything else on. Um, so that is Avid HD. There's not really that much to change except for the lock screen and the usual main utility icons to change. That is it for this thing reviews episode. Hope you guys like it. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Check my channel D Shack Tech and subscribe for more app reviews, app news, rumors, jailbreaks, and thing reviews, as well as Mac OS 10 tutorials. Follow me on Twitter for my thoughts on daily tech news. Check my latest work on my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.